facts here. There are an estimated 4,000 homeless people living in Chatham County. Now the Chatham Savannah Homeless Authority looking for ways to provide shelter. WJCL's Ashley Lincoln attended a meeting tonight with the Homeless Authority and the Downtown Neighborhood Association. Well, Kevin, the Homeless Authority says that they have a problem with finding housing for its homeless. With full shelters and limited low-income housing, there aren't many options. A city with a homeless population bursting at the seams. More than 300 individuals live in the 20 camps that are located right around the perimeter of the city of Savannah. And we've been engaging the folks in the camps and keeping a pulse on what's going on in there. Cindy Murphy Kelly with Savannah's Homeless Authority addressed the Downtown Neighborhood Association Wednesday about Savannah's growing homeless population. This has been the transition year of cleaning up some of the challenges that we've had in the past. Last year, more than 4,000 homeless people were accounted for. Of that number, more than 500 are children and 300 are veterans. It is a lot for a city of our size. Kelly says her office is working on getting that number down by placing the homeless. We think that we have about 8,000 individuals in our community who qualify for affordable housing, but we don't have it. But the setback is there's not enough affordable housing for the general public, yet alone housing for the homeless. Where do you start? Do you start with the homeless? Or maybe you start with low-income housing. It's something that we need to take seriously if we really do want to make a difference. Otherwise, we're going to continue to have more than 4,000 homeless in our community as we've had for 20 years. Kelly says they've made a lot of progress in this past year, and they're working toward finding housing for Savannah's homeless. And Kelly says studies estimate that it costs about $20,000 per person per year to serve a homeless person. Now that cost is paid through the police, hospitals, courts, and jails budget, Kevin. Wow, interesting facts there. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ashley.